My name is Tom Stein. I'm a computer system manager at Washington University in St. Louis. We are part of NASA's planetary data system. We work on geoscience data coming back from Mars rover and orbital missions. Right now what we are working on is taking the data archive from the NASA missions and making them available to the planetary science community. The data are available for the planetary science community users as well as the interested public. The collection of data that we have right now is uh, the complete set of planetary image data and uh, non-image data from the rover missions. In addition to images as we would think of taking with our camera that we have with us, we also do spectral data and uh, other engineering information that comes down from the rover. It's used by a wide variety of planetary scientists. So we're serving a, a diverse audience in our tool. I was looking for web development tools and we found Telerik was easy to download, to demo, I still visit the demos even today as I want to add another element from the tool set into our online system. So we're looking for a value added tool that would help them uh, find the data, allow uh, custom searches and, and other methods for getting the data that were similar to the day-to-day -day tools that people use such as uh, Amazon and in other uh, commonly used applications. Our application is a web-based application primarily for desktop use that planetary scientists can use to find their data of interest. They can preview the data to get a good idea of whether or not they found what they're looking for for their science research. What we do is we take data from different instruments and correlate those together along with engineering reports with uh, documentation that are produced uh, every day by the science team. And this allows them to get a better understanding of why decisions were made by the rover science team and then what actions were taken as the data came down. The rover mission that we're working on now started in 2004. Early on, our web interface was a series of static pages, and that worked well because the mission was only supposed to last 90 days. But now that the mission has gone on for 10 years, we've really had to change not only the way our interface works, but the mechanisms used by the end user to find the data. It was about three years ago that we first looked at how we would update the interface and make it more usable by the science community. And after a few days of frustrated efforts, I realized that we just did not have the expertise or even the resources to develop the front end support that the Telerik tools gave us. We then purchased the Telerik tools, put them in place, and were freed up to develop other tools. And after putting the Telerik tools to work for us, we were able to devote more of our resources developing the front end needs for our users. Uh, new views of the data, new access methods, and new um, opportunities to actually find what they were looking for. One of the exciting things that we've been able to do is to take the interest generated by our value-added tools that are built on top of Telerik and share those with our international partners. We have colleagues at European Space Agency, the Indian and Japanese Space Agencies, and also in Russia who are also collecting data from their planetary missions and to be able to share with them our experiences of how we made the data more accessible to our end users. They also are looking to develop similar applications. So developing a single application that's easy for first time users as well as those who keep coming back uh, month after month to get additional data, it is a challenge for us. But the tools uh, from Telerik that we built on top of really help us address that because uh, while we have users coming on different platforms and from different backgrounds, the tools allow us to focus on the scientific needs of the users and not so much just the pretty aesthetics that, that are expected and that make accessing the system much easier. A key part of using the tools is the fact that I'm not really a developer by trade. My training is in geology, so I have a leg up on understanding the planetary data that we're putting in our system, but I don't always have the computer science background to develop the application as someone with that background might do. The tools really help me not have to worry so much about the uh, underlying infrastructure of the system and to focus on what I know and what the needs of our users are.